everyone welcome to the channel today we are going to talk about something that is very very important and often not given that importance that is kendra kendra houses of the horoscope which are the 7th house 1st house 4th house and 10th house these four houses in the order are very important 7th house is the weakest kendra 1st house 4th house and 10th house are the most strongest kendras other strongest kendras in the order right so 7th is the weakest first is more powerful than the 7th fourth is more powerful than the first and 10th is the most powerful kendra you know what one thing is very prominent the signification of these kendras are somehow interchanged in my studies of astrology what i have found is the signification of the ascendant and the signification of the 10th house is somehow taken interchangeably right so despite the fact what people understand actually the classics of astrology opine that according to the influences on the 10th house the nature behavior character looks etc of a native should be discerned right and this also is found true in experience and practice as well so the significations of the first house and 10th house are taken interchangeably and so is the case with the signification of fourth house and 10th house using the word they are taken interchangeably is somehow wrong however one thing that should be noticed is fourth house is known as the house of sukha happiness satisfaction contentment whatever you say but 10th house is taken as the house of vishesha sukha special happiness contentment satisfaction etc all and all you can say that all the kendras and seventh house somehow falls short the definition of kendra all the kendras indicate happiness prosperity etc it is very essential to have the kendras in a good shape if the horoscope is a building kendras are the four basic pillars of it so you know all these four pillars have to be in a good shape and condition to support the building of fortune otherwise it may fall down right so the point is there are the lord of kendras and there are planet in kendras first seventh first fourth and tenth house what we need to understand is <clears throat> the lord of the kendra is the inherent strength of this pillar if the lord of these houses are weak see kendra is support you have to understand it kendra is support and these are the basic things that we need in life good body you need if you don't have a good body how can you do things then you need a place to live in something to commute that comes from the fourth house you need a partner not a life partner but partner in anything you know even for being an ascetic you need someone who will initiate you into the path you need someone with whom you can discuss you need someone to help you support you and at the end of the day you need a focus see 10th house is karma karma doesn't mean profession karma means the ambition what you want to do what you want to achieve and being able to achieve what one wants in those in those one with a great joy maybe that is the reason 10th house is known as the house for special happiness you know the sense of achievement the sense of happiness comes from this and you know these are the four basic pillars of life and the lord of the kendras are the strength of that particular pillar if the lord of any of the kendra is weak there is no strength in the pillar and what happens in this scenario is the pillars are weak and because of this particular reason one have to do extra hard work see to understand it a normal person is born to a mother and a father mother and father into a good family well to do family person have to get education then have to earn and look after his life so that is a normal set now suppose someone have a single mother or someone don't have parents 
so in that scenario he is not having resources to complete his education he will be forced to you know leave his studies in between there will be no one to support him in his higher education he have to start working early and because of this many enjoyments in life will be snatched away from such a day you know you are understanding this particular situation so for a holistic life see try to understand the point a person who gets a property from a father don't have to you, you know don't have to worry about where they have to live but someone who is not blessed by this first will have will earn money then he will then a amount of money will be spent in paying the rent taking care of the family etc right so this is an extra burden when the lord of the kendras are weak the foundation is not strong there is extra burden on the native and specifically those things in life which people take for granted like everyone have a hope everyone have at least a partner everyone have a target these things which we take for granted are compromised and this becomes a major issue when the lord of the kendras are weak so kendra which is a support but kendra is also referred as a thorn you know it is also referred as a thorn something which pierces your foot and makes the journey very very difficult so remember that when the kendra lords are weak life becomes unnecessarily difficult one or the other happiness of life is snatched away there are extra responsibilities on the native and to progress in life one have to work extra do things extra as compared to what other people will have to do weak kendra lords never give an all round complete prosperity and happiness weak kendra is a story of someone being exceptionally good in one particular area of life whereas in other areas of life the person may be struggling this is how we have to understand the kendras specifically you know what i, I should tell you some if the 10th lord is weak one is not getting success in their endeavors see this is very essential i am not saying you be at the top of your profession or you achieve everything in life but you take a small task of <clears throat> purchasing vegetable to make food you step out of the home you want success you want that whatever you are out for to search you at least get that when the 10th house is weak 10th lord is weak the person despite doing his best is not able to achieve success this becomes an issue right the lagna when the lagna is weak the health is not in favor right this is a major issue right because you cannot help it another point is you know what lagna indicates the functional intelligence you know you listen to someone story and and suppose there is a story of a person he was saying that you know that i wanted to pursue law but my father never let me did it he told me to do mba instead i was forced to do it and his father was a very big person he gave him a he gave him property worth 4 5 crores and gave him an already set up business worth sub 10 12 crores you know at a very prime location in a very prime city he inherited the family business but he does nothing he is completely into alcoholism and these other things and his only cry is i wanted to pursue this education my father never let me do it now you listen to the story and you say this person is such in a miserable condition his mental thinking his thought is not going into the right track if we must have been into that situation rather than cursing the luck or what i was not able to get we will rather look at what is into our hands and make that better 
this particular thing that i am right now talking about is functional intelligence you know functional intelligence it is you know there is a particular story that was told to me by my maternal grandfather if a thief steals your vessel if a thief steals or your vessels or your utensils and you tell that i will not keep my food in another vessel i will not purchase another vessel i will not borrow a vessel from my neighbor but because fate have done this to me i will keep my chapatis i will keep my breads on the ground put sauce on the bare ground and will eat it then certainly no one can help you you know so this adamancy lack of common sense lack of the thing what you are doing is signified by the ascendant and it is such a it is up to such a great extent these things are emphasized at such a great extent that astrological classics are very clearly saying that if the 10th house lord and lagna lord is afflicted and weak it is worthless to see the horoscope of the native the native have no worth at all and whatever you tell him he will not listen to you he will not be able to do it there is nothing to worry about it the thing that is the need of the hour is that we understand we have such tendency and try to improve it better it this is what is needed right this is the basic point fourth house you know fourth house is hell fourth house is hell and fourth house is happiness satisfaction contentment see you have a one bed you have a one bedroom you have a life partner into that see there is a there is a scenario there is a person well to do middle class person he earns enough amount of money he have everything that he wants but he is very troubled about that he is not having a child he is always thinking about you know i am the only child of my family my clan will continue my clan should continue what will happen i am not getting a child he remain tensed the complete day because of this he is not able to focus into his profession his professional life starts going bad then there comes scarcity of money dissatisfaction these things are there he have a friend almost living in the same societal standards they are not they are also not having a child they both are my clients and they are happy they are saying that if god have not endowed us with a child not an issue sir i am not a chandragupta maurya someone who is going to give a palace to their king i am a normal person if i am not getting blessed by a child it is all okay we have made a compromise with the situation as it is now this person is more satisfied more contented and 10 years down the lane this person will be more prosperous and more happy as compared to this person so you may have everything in the world and can still be dissatisfied you can have nothing in the world and can still be satisfied and the quality of your life quality of your thoughts the sleep that you get all depends on the satisfaction according to me more than more than happiness fourth house is satisfaction and satisfaction is such a great virtue such a great virtue that the one who have it never remains in a problem always remains happy right and when these four house house lords are weak when the 10th house lord is weak and afflicted success is not there when lagna lord is weak and afflicted intelligence and common sense is snatched away and when the fourth house lord is weak and afflicted happiness is not there other houses of the horoscope you know they are, they don't hold much importance as such even if you are unlucky ninth house is not good but 10th house is good then at least you are successful in all the undertakings right so even if you are not lucky enough to get new opportunities that comes from a bad 9th house but if the 10th house is good and you have a responsibility of family you have a responsibility of a child at the end of the day you will be able to earn enough to feed them and also save some money right so these are the importance of the kendras you don't have a sibling you don't have many things in life but if the fourth house is good you are happy satisfied and contented with whatever little you have and satisfaction is the key to increasing happiness and that is for sure
right so these are the importance of kendras and when the lord of the kendras are weak these qualities and traits are missing in the personality of the native which actually makes them miserable makes them have a bad life and the speciality with kendra is that the problem is not coming from outside but the problem is from inside only remember they are the pillars of the building of fortune so destruction is not coming from any famine or anything as such but the building is falling only because of the weakness of pillars right this is the internal issue this is the internal problem which have to be taken care of now coming to the seventh house seventh house indicate marriage more specifically partnerships right when the seventh lord is in a bad situation you don't get good people to partner with you see seventh house the most important point with seventh house that i understand is the association you have association of those people who are your well wishers think good of you give you good ideas it is very good for you in any situation in any circumstance they will give you solace they will give you ray of hope and as they are giving you good influence and good advices at the end of the day you will be able to succeed if you are loyal to them on the other hand see it is very difficult to not get the influence of the environment or the company that you are having and company is also the company of the family company of the parents company of the sibling company of the friends you know it is told now one rotten apple makes the complete basket rotten all the all the apples rot the same is the case with the malefic seventh house you know the seventh lord getting weak or afflicted you are not getting good company people are posing to be your well wisher but in reality is thinking your bad and because of that certainly you will get their influence and because of this particular scenario you will take wrong decisions which ultimately will lead to failure right so these are the four basic steps of uh, basic steps of any life the basic things that one should get you know and, and you see we have hands we can work but if someone is you know if someone is snatched away from this little happiness which is called a hand if someone don't have this particular organ in their body they are not having a basic element are you getting my point so this snatching away of basic element which is very unfortunate comes with the weakness of kendra however until and unless it is a major affliction and the speciality with kendra kendra doesn't indicate bodily defect but more so indicates the mental defect right so this can be remedied should be remedied this is the first change in your nature personality behavior thinking that you should do if you want greatness and success in life and astrology is the science which is focused at giving you success astrology is the tool to success this was the basic prime motive for which it was developed now one particular point i should tell you if there is no planet in kendra there is nothing to worry about the planet it is very simple if there is a house if there is a planet in a house the result of the house is first influenced by that planet if there is no planet in the house then the result is in, decided by the lord of the house uh, first placement then aspect then the lord of so basically what happens you have to analyze about the 10th house you will first analyze based on the planet in the 10th house then if there is a planet it is okay if there is no planet then you analyze it based on the 10th lord and then you analyze based on the planet who is aspecting the 10th house if there are all the three things present planet in 10th house is also there someone is aspecting the 10th house also and 10th lord will always be there if there are all the three influences you have to judge all the three influences and the result of the different influences come in the respective dashantra the sharp with respective transit and the respective activation of planets right so there is nothing much to worry about it see planets in kendra if you have any planet in ascendant it is very good any planet in ascendant becomes yog karak any planet in ascendant is here to bestow you success and happiness 
no matter it can be the lord of the six state or 12th house it can be lord of any house that does not matter but you will be blessed regarding the natural significations of that planet whatever be the case the only thing that is there is that you have to follow the plan even if you have mercury in the ascendant as the sixth lord sixth lord in the ascendant will give you disease that is there but cleverness intelligence etc mercury will bless you with because that is the natural signification and trait of mercury but what is needed is you don't do bad to your relatives you do not have illicit relationship with your relatives you do not think bad about your relatives you are not jealous of your friends this is the basic thing that is needed any planet in ascendant can lead you to greatness provided the fact that you treat the uh, significators the people signified by that planet with utmost respect and don't have bad intentions towards them regarding the 10th house every planet is good in the 10th house it is a debilitated planet it is a digbalhin planet it is any planet planet in the 10th house is a very good planet it will give you overall progress prosperity and happiness if it is combust debilitated etc the happiness prosperity will be lesser in quantities if it is in a good situation it will be much in quantities but under any situation planet in the 10th house gives good result only be it natural malefic functional malefic does not matter they may do bad for the 10th house if the 8th lord is situated in the 10th house they can create a problem related to profession but related to the personality of the person success of the person support of the person the natural significations of the planet will prove to be highly auspicious just the same condition as i told earlier the people signified by that planet have to be respected regarding the fourth house see every planet is not good there i have a simple technique that i teach to my students malefic in the fourth house is a yamraj on his buffalo who is here to snatch away your happiness malefic in the fourth house is not good at all it is that constant misery that is behind your head that will stop you from enjoying everything and before doing anything auspicious and prosperous this is the planet who will come into your way and will make stop you from that decision suppose there is saturn in the fourth house so what happen when comes a good opportunity in your life someone will fall ill and they will tell you that my only desire is to see you you please come to see me now this is a little bit. it is a excuse you have to stop this temptation take the opportunity then go and see the person this malefic in the fourth house will be constantly disturbing you creating obstacles on your way to success to going to the next level of life this have to be ignored and taken under control in any situation benefits in the fourth house are extremely good even if they are the lord of the sixth eighth and twelfth house doesn't matter natural benefits in the fourth house give you happiness contentment and satisfaction without any doubt malefics in the fourth house when they are exalted vargottam mulu trikona swarashi should not be treated as malefics and in such scenario the happiness of the planet which is in the fourth house is guaranteed without any doubt right provided the fact that the planet is good and if the planet is bad then it becomes a problem in the seventh house no planet is considered good be it prashna muhurta anything planets in seventh house are not appreciated it is better to have seventh house empty only in the case of empty seventh house one can have with other combinations one can have a successful prosperous and happy marital life if there is any planet in the 7th house even be it the biggest benefic jupiter also some dissatisfaction bad events miseries related to marital life is for sure guaranteed i will write it on white paper and i will post it to you right so in 7th house no planet is appreciated and another point is the planet in the 7th house is just opposite the ascendant the the quality of the planet in the 7th house is not accept, 
is not into your personality mars in the seventh house person is very calm cool in control anger he don't know jupiter in the seventh house ethics he don't know sun in the seventh house ego he don't know moon in the seventh house mood emotion understanding people not in his dictionary you know this word of whatever the planet in the seventh house signifies that is not into your dictionary right you may tell that no no sir it is not like this but an introspection is needed if you cannot introspect yourself carefully i highly doubt what else you can do right so seventh house no planet is good now in kendras if there are a planet see the way of analysis is pretty simple if there is a planet in a kendra if if there is a planet in the 10th house you see the nature of the planet house lauded by the planet signification of the planet and you predict accordingly two three major point i will add benefits in the kendra is very good it makes the life easy natural benefits see if there are functional benefits in kendra they make raj yoga right ninth lord fifth lord in kendra makes raj yoga second lord 11th lord in kendra makes dhan yoga so functional benefit in kendras gives you success prosperity wealth money and all type of material happiness because they will either make a dhan yoga or will make a raj yoga if the lord of third sixth eighth twelfth house are in the kendras then in that particular scenario whichever house they are into they will create problem related to that particular house but if natural benefits are there they make your life easy though it can be that a benefit is the lord of the 12th house situated in the 10th house though it will disturb the 10th house but for the overall progress prosperity and support of life this particular planet will be very good without any on the other hand malefics in the kendra and i am talking of natural malefics make the life difficult snatch away many happiness from the person and if these malefics happen to be three or more than three malefics it falls into the category of sarva yoga as per parashar itself and in this sarva yoga the life of the person is like the animal which is coiled by the serpent what he can do is limited what resources he can get is limited how much help he can ask for is limited his life is unnecessarily difficult disturbed luck is against this person and new problems keep on falling day after day the problems never completely subside and specifically such people having three or more than three malefics in kendra even astrology cannot help them such people are adamant they don't listen to anyone's advice and even things related to astrology worship etc they consider these things as false and fake see if you consider that astrology is false your belief makes no difference to astrology but astrology can make a great difference into your life which it will not make because you don't believe it to right so always remember you cannot do anything bad to astrology but not believing into it is a problem for your own self right if you don't believe in the existence of god god doesn't damn care about it. right be very clear about it. now if there are benefits and malefics both in the kendras then is support happiness prosperity related to the benefits is present in the life and problems hardships struggles related to the malefics is present in the life of the native this is what can be easily understood all the four kendra houses so it is pretty a simple case benefics in kendra easy simple life gets everything is smooth right time right opportunity right success right progress blessed by all signs malefics in the kendra adamant not listening to anyone not believing into good things bad habits bad practices unnecessarily troubles right not able to sustain mentality thinking itself is a problem right as i have already told in kendra problem doesn't come from outside problem comes from inside specifically inside this particular area which many people don't have 
right comes from inside if there are both benefics and malefics then depending on the signification of the planet the result will happen right for natural benefics and natural malefics the lord of good houses and kendras makes raj yoga or dhani yoga making the life easier making the life happy and blessed lot of the bad house in kendra will create problem related to that particular kendra wherever they are situated in in the dasha antar dasha otherwise they are not that good if the planet happens to be a natural benefit the results are good or bad right so this was my short analysis on the kendra houses the analysis can be made more in depth as you understand the houses house lord combination and other things as you understand the analysis can be made more 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 in depth right but to illustrate that into a youtube video i think is not possible but this is a topic which i am covering in depth in my parashar sutras course that is currently running so if you wish to learn more about how this traditional way of analysis in vedic astrology works this is a course you must join and specifically thank you for watching the video i wish you the best